Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about statements used in PHTL. So, we will start with the first type of statement that is called a sequential signal statement and we will see what are the different types of sequential signal statements. The statements which are executed one after another that is in a sequence are called as sequential statements. Now, in the previous lectures, we have discussed about concurrent statements which simply says that the statements which are executed parallelly that means there is no sequence they are called as concurrent statement but if anything having certain sequence it is called a sequential statement now how can I declare this statement so the statements are written inside the process statements now in case of process we generally define process in bracket the formal parameter list including the input terms so the statements which are written inside architecture inside the process statement are called a sequential statement also VHDL uses a construct that we have defined as process which separates sequential statement from the concurrent statements so in this way one can define the sequential statements let us overlook the different types of sequences here we have wait statement if statement case statement loop next exit statement return and null statement out of which as far as VHDL uh, terminology is considered, mostly we will use if statement, case, loop and exit statement or even you can use wait statement in case of flip -flop. Now let us see them one by one. Start with the first one as wait statement. Now the name indicates, it certainly indicates a certain delay or the delay to be introduced. So uh, what it does, it causes execution of sequential statement to wait for certain interval of time that means it simply delays the operation for a certain amount of time that indicates wait statement how will you define this so we have syntax as wait that is nothing but the name is going to be wait in bracket we can write the sensitivity clause and conditional clause now what do you mean by sensitivity clause and what do you mean by condition clause we will see with one example for example I have written the first statement as wait now the sensitivity clause is until that means until the condition clause is what clock is equals to 1 that means until and unless clock becomes equals to 1 all the operations will be suspended so in this way we can define the wait statement now we know that clock pulse will have two types it can be positive or negative so the transition will be from 0 to 1 or 1 to 0 so in that case we can use the wait statement similarly the second statement we are written wait sensitivity clause is for and condition clause is 10 seconds that means for the first 10 seconds the operation will be suspended so in this way one can define the wait statement now let us take a look on of statement which is called as if else statement directly we will see the structure it is given as if if we write the condition then we will write sequence of statement if the first statement is not satisfied or if the first condition is not satisfied we will go for the second condition else if condition 2 and then we have to write the statement if that condition is not satisfied we will move forward else if condition 3 sequence of statement and so on until the last condition is satisfied so it is written as else sequence of statements and end if so this is going to be the structure of defining if statement now let us take this with one example design of 4 is to 1 box now friends here we will require four inputs and a single output and there will be two select lines here select lines we have considered as yes can have a value as s1 and s0 so whenever it is 0 0 output will be connected to a line 0 1 output is connected to b line 1 0 it is connected to c and for 1 1 condition the d line will be connected as output term. now let us see this with the help of architecture here i written architecture behavioral of entity name is 4 is to 1 marks is let us begin this if it is begin we will write now process here it comes process because we are dealing with sequential statements in case of process we have four inputs a b c d and a select line as s let's initialize the process we are returning now we will write the condition if the first condition is what s that is select line is equals to 0 0 if this condition is satisfied our output will be connected to a if it is not 0 0 we will go for the next condition else if it will check the condition 0 1 then y will be connected to b else if 
s is equals to 1 0 then it will be connected to c now if these three conditions are not satisfied definitely we will go for else y should be connected to d because by default it will take four combinations 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 so in this way one can define the if statement now we'll close the loop so i'm writing end if end the process and end the architecture so in this way one can go for if else statement in case of multiplexers or demultiplexer i hope you understood the if else statement now let us take over look on case statement now again uh, in case of multiplexer where select lines plays a vital role even in case of encoders also decoders also there or demultiplexers also there we can model them using case statement the syntax is same case name case expression is instead of select line we are writing now case expression is now we have when the first condition is satisfied we'll write sequential statement when second choice is considered we write sequential statement and it will be continued until the last condition is satisfied and finally we'll end the case statement now instead of wasting too much time on the syntax let us come example that we have as architecture behavioral again 4 is to 1 marks is begin let us process it again we will initialize the process now instead of select lines that we have written if else statement i am writing case s is that means we are dealing with the s now here first when s is 0 0 y should be less than or equals to a now next when 0 1 it will be connected to p when 1 0 it will be connected to c and when it is 1 1 y should be connected to d or d is connected to y now in most of the cases what happens uh, if by mistake if you give more number of inputs instead of two two combinations we have to give this condition as when others that means if none of the condition is satisfied then when others output will be undefined that is given as x x x s that is going to be undefined finally we will end the case we will end the process and we will end the architecture so in this way one can go for case statement as well as for if else statement when we deal with uh, VHDL codes of combinational circuits, we will see more examples on case statements as well as if else statement. I hope you understood the concept of statements used in VHDL. If you understood it, please subscribe our channel. Thank you.